Hello, hello everybody. I hope you've had a really good Christmas and probably uh, maybe by the time you see this you may have had a really good New Year too. So hopefully you're all uh, safe and uh, sensible of course. But So we've got a New Year 2020. So yeah, New Year to look forward to, lots of things for me to look forward to and that's how I'm going to look at it. I'm just going to go into a bright and happy new year and hope that only good things happen this year. So what I'm going to do is I am actually testing out some colours for a um, project that I've got for somebody um, but I just want to do the colour testing. So I'm going to do um, a centre swipe. I was thinking of a diagonal but at the moment I'm just well, we'll just freehand it and see how we go. Or what do they call it? Freelance it. So I've got my um, size of these canvases. I think they are. That's not right. Oh, I'll find out the size in a second. I did put the card down and do you think I can see it? No. Anyway, what I've done is I've taped the underneath to keep the edges nice and clean. And I've put my giant push pins in. Now I have lots and lots of global paints uh, that I still have from when I was using mostly global paints. So today I am actually going to um, use a little bit of those global paints in with my Montmartre, which I've changed right over to now. Uh, for quite a long time, but I'm still. I'm just going to try and use up the Montmartre in with uh, use up the global paints in with my Montmartre. So, first of all, oh okay, what I will do first of all, I've got this bling gold that I pre-mixed up with what I had left over in the um, container, and I've actually mixed this with my pouring medium of 70% Elmer's glue. 30% water. The drop down box there will contain my recipe for my pouring medium. Um, so if, you, if you're wanting to know it's it's there. Also the online supplier that I get my Australian uh, pouring materials from is there. So yeah I think I've covered everything there haven't I? So I'm going to go with this gold This particular request that I'm trying to fulfill is for all kind of earthy neutral well neutral earthy tones so whether I'll achieve that I'm not sure because I'll just go with my creative juices because I am um, more going that way to do what I, I please and if they sell they sell and if they don't they don't but so this is a metallic burnt umber. I'm going to go a raw sienna. So they're all kind of uh, mounting colours I call autumn colours but it's not the season we're in the um, obviously the summer here in Australia in the bushfire season so they're certainly uh, not the colours that of autumn uh, in our reality here in Australia at the moment. I'm going to pour in some plain old white so this white is my Montmartre paint so I am mixing the two but I won't yeah going away and you know a few of the Australian pourers are going away from the global because they just went kind of downhill not very good quality and started I think it was just there was too much demand for it that they couldn't keep up so and I'm loving the Montmartre so and they are Australian paint but they're available worldwide which is great when you have a YouTube channel that you're trying to 
allow people in other countries to get the same ingredients as what you're using or the same paints and so the Montmartre paints are available uh, in the US if you try Amazon or eBay they are available in the US at a reasonable price probably a bit cheaper than we even get them for in Australia um, and if you're in Australia then all the better you can get them we have a great online Oh, I've got something crawling up my leg. Uh, a great online um, family-owned business, which is anybody that shopped with them knows that they are really excellent service. And I always like to try and support uh, family-run businesses in your home country. So that's a good thing. So, 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 here we go lovely kind of looks like the icing of a big caramel cake which I'm sure me and everyone else has had too much cake over Christmas <laughs> too much or can you ever have too much that's probably the uh, go I'm adding this cu custom color that I actually made up I wanted to get like a fleshy tin tone so what I had on my colour wheel, which is a good thing for any budding artist to, or any artist to have, is a colour wheel that can uh, direct you how to make and customise a few colours and what colours go with what. So what this started, what I started off was white. I added one blob of yellow and one blob of orange and then stirred. Then I still, it sort of came a bit candyish, so I added a blob of the burnt umber and then it's made this gorgeous sort of skin tone fleshy colour, which is really nice. So it's, it's good for um, these kind of pores where you're wanting to keep the colours soft, autumn -y. And a lot of people have their homes decorated in the brown beige. I am not a brown and beige person myself. I just find it, it's just not me. I find it totally not me, boring. But lots of people do like it, so. Okay, this is, I've made this into a teal, which it, it was the turquoise, and then I've added a real dark blue to it to send it a bit more, because I do want a pop of color in this even though the person that I'm trying to create it for probably doesn't but it's not going to be this actual painting for the person this is what the colours I'm just testing but it looks delicious anyway good enough to eat doesn't it those colours are super duper though I do like those together Especially me adding my dark teal in there gives it that pop. So I'm just giving it a gentle tilt either way just to cover the canvas and to um, level the paints out and give them a bit of, they are mixing a little bit which is what I like in this particular style that I do. Uh, and as usual it's all relaxed easy going painting and that's what it's all about it's just enjoying the process enjoying the process so if you uh, run your fingers on the outside and you've got any little areas that you want to cover on your corners you can finger pop those and that's kind of really lovely as that is Oh, so so. What is she going to no? I was really going no. If this was me and I was doing exactly what I really wanted to, I would put a deep crimson swipe through that. But I thought that I've I've gone gone a bit out of the mould to what I know that this person likes with that pop of teal. But I'm going to swipe with just a very, very dark chocolate brown. So what this is, my global uh, burnt umber. And then I added a blob of black 
and it sends it this deep chocolatey brown so that's what colour I'm going to swipe with even though I have got that um, metallic umber in there but as I said if I had the choice I really would go with the deep crimson because I've done that before and it's turned out new beaut so easy peasy this one it's a nice simple uh, work to do if you're a beginner that, that this particular style that I do it, it's quite easy um, it's relaxed and just stay calm about it as remember it is just paint and if you have to scrape it then yeah you do lose a bit of paint um, but you've still got your canvas which is the most expensive part of it I suppose um, for some and remembering that your paint is uh, made, it looks a lot of paint but it's made up mostly with the pouring medium so we'll just let your plastic file divider drop into it about one centimeter and then just drag it out Now, I always, always leave my paints, uh, make my paints up at least 24 hours before I paint. This morning I made up these paints about 8 o'clock this morning and I guess it's about 12 now. And, oh no, it's a bit, I think we're about 2 now. So they haven't been my normal 24 hours at all. So I'm hoping that I do get the same results as I do when I leave my paints longer. And what I think I've done here, which I believe, is I've added too much of the swipe colour. Because look at that, it's taking over everything. So there's a little mistake on my behalf, but one that maybe now you've seen what I've done, you don't mis don't um and don't make the same mistake. I put too much swipe colour. You really only need a very thin line. And if you've watched me do this technique, as I've done hundreds of times before, I only ever put a really thin line of the swipe colour. So what I was thinking when I put that quite thick line, I have no idea. But sometimes the unexpected the, can happen to be the most outstanding or it just might not I am going to um, use my butane torch on this one okay if you guys are uh, not happy using the butane torch just use a heat gun I'm gonna just wave it over oh see look at my pops of tea all coming up and if I hadn't have added them the dull and boring would be there. That's in my eyes. I know lots of people like the just plain earthy tones like that. But look at that pop of teal. Wowzers. It doesn't look so bad now, does it? With the um, dark brown. <laughs> There's me thinking that I'd added way too much swipe colour. But um, it's actually breaking through quite nicely look at those cells oh my lord they are divine absolutely absolutely gorgeous 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 just gonna give you a close-up they are really gorgeous I've got you out of the frame slightly Sorry about the wibble wobbles. Look at those cells. Absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning. Now, wow. That's really beautiful. It is really pretty painting already. Um, I didn't do as I was supposed to do and not add the teal at all a teal at all but I did and I am absolutely gobsmacked how gorgeous it looks with those colours 
what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this for about, uh, well it's quite a hot day and I have got air conditioning on in here so I'm going to leave it about 30 minutes and I'm going to come back and I'm going to see if I feel the need to embellish it or I just leave it be. If you liked it at that particular stage that I've got to now then all good, you, it's your piece of work, you stop right there. But if I come back and I decide I need to have a little play uh, with embellishment, then, you know, that's my choice. And it's your choice when you're doing your work. So I'll be back soon, folks. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's only been about 20 minutes. Um, I was a little bit worried that because the weather's so warm and I've got air conditioning on, it, that it's drying the painting really quick. So I didn't want the painting too tacky um, to play with. So as you see, the cells have morphed and stretched even further, but they're absolutely gorgeous. They are so much nicer in a photo as well that I've just taken of them. So much brighter. Um, so very pleased. Now, okay, there's my washing machine. Sorry about that has to make a sung and dance when it's finished a bit like um, the boys when they finish a job gotta let you know that they've done a job for you so <laughs> oh, god shush <laughs> oh, okay so if you got to this stage with your artwork and you thought that's absolutely beautiful this is just what I want I'll leave it then obviously you just leave it at that stage I am um it's the explorer or experimenter in me that I want to push the boundary a bit further and take this artwork um, a bit further. So I'm pretty excited about it. I will use my balloons in different sizes. So I'm going to have a go and see what we create with this. So I've got a few balloons. Uh, different sizes because that one's gone down to a funny like egg shape this one's not that big either and I've got the little teeny tiny uh, balloon that I fill put water in it as you can see I did one little tiny balloon dip there and where's my second one? Oh, there just trying to see if the paint was playable yet it still might be a little too wet in the center I just want to add a bit of embellishment because it's kind of just taken over in cells especially down this area this one's left some nice negative space which I really like and this one's kind of morphed into just cell city cell city so I'm gonna have a go with my balloons I'm gonna see what I can um, bring up out of this paint so I think what I what I do with my balloon I know so many people have a lot of difficulty with balloon work some don't and some do uh, I'm just trying to explain it in a way that I know works best for me so hopefully it work good for you is I get the balloon where the little belly button part is put it between my fingers and so I've got good control of the balloon at that stage I don't like using the balloon so much on the side. I have done and it creates a different effect. But this one I, I kind of find that that's what I'm going to do for this particular paw. Now I'm a bit concerned whether I go right through it or just... What I'll do to start with is just a balloon kiss because this is just testing how wet the paint is there. And as you can see it's all falling in so it's quite wet so i probably should do with leaving it a little bit longer but for the sake of the video i'm gonna just go with it okay that was a balloon rolling and that's created look at that gorgeous effect in there i'm gonna try not to do too much in this she said i'll tell you what's really turned out well is this chocolate the burnt umber where I added the black it's really made a nice deep chocolate so if you want to create that colour to really make something pop I'm really happy with it so it's a good thing so here we go 
big balloon roll through that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. It probably definitely could do with uh, a little bit more drying off. So if you were doing it, probably just leave it to dry off a little bit. You can come to it and check it with a little balloon kiss. And if it's a little, lifts a little bit and, and creates a nice effect, then it's ready. But if it falls in like that, that's probably a bit too wet. It still creates a lovely effect. Oh, look at that teal. Oh, I do love that teal bursting through there. That's beautiful. Got the most amazing cells in this. I think it's my water here in Queensland, you know, because pretty much... Oh, I mean, not everything works, that's for sure, but I pr get pretty good results from most things. Oh, that's lovely. Just probably... Uh, I don't really want to do too much more. And you're probably yelling at me, I know, most people say. It. It's yelling at you to stop. I just want to put a bit more brown into this centre here, because it's... Yeah, a bit too goldy. Goldy, goldy. No, I think that is just beautiful. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to step away from the canvas, as I'm sure you were yelling at me. Now, if, as it dries, it starts to get what's like... They look like little holes, but it actually is, and that's white what I like to do is come along as it's all you know drying with my little teeny tiny balloon that has water in it and just just give it a little pop so it covers the little hole up but gives a gorgeous little whimsical effect to it this little teeny tiny balloon you see it just gives a completely different look gives a lovely effect white coming up there yeah any area that you think oh I don't like that bit there these little teeny tiny water balloons are great for adding some really cool embellishments really good as it's drying I find so if you get anything that you're not happy with or somebody's going to put a finger in your painting which I've had a bit of this holiday is just go along with this tiny little water balloon just has a bit of water in it and it gives it that little bit of weight not happy with this here but if i mess with that anymore while that's a wet i shall spoil it i'll just let it dry off a bit and then i'll try and do a roll of the other colors through it but i'm gonna leave this i'm going to leave it she said Thank you so much for joining me guys. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I am so humbled and so grateful. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's free, costs you nothing. And um, hit the notification button. And even if you have subscribed, please just check that you are still subscribed because YouTube is unsus unsubscribing people that he thinks uh, that they see fit. I'm not sure why, but that's the message that I have got. So um, if you have, just check. You s check your settings. So I will put some finished uh, dry photos on the end of this video for you guys. So again, thanks so much. Thanks for the lovely comments that I always get. Very much appreciate. So until next time, cellmates. Bye for now.